87th. Inshallah, warm to the octave scattered through four corners of the globe. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, inshallah, warm to the octave. That be like unto the speck of bird. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say inshallah, warm to the octave out there. And this is a uh, two news articles that I'm about to bring out. Uh, this uh, walk and talk uh, in the news lesson for uh, December 19, 2022. And these two articles in reference to the scripture that I just brought out of uh, Matthew 24, 6 to verse 7. And this is the first news article from the Jerusalem Post. Uh, this was published December 19, 2022 at Reuters.com. And I highlight on this news article and it reads for in the news of December 19, 2022 on this uh, Monday afternoon, 4.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. It says uh, Russia and China to hold joint naval drills next week. I mean, Slovakia this week. And it says Russia and China will hold a joint naval drill break, uh, be between December 21st and through the 27th. And it says, uh, I believe I've read an article too. Since these drills, uh, joint naval drills between these two countries. And I believe it's saying uh, there was an article mentioning about like uh, Moscow and uh, the country Belarus, you know, their uh, their partnership and military strength is uh, increasing. And I believe there was another article I was looking at as well too. Uh, it was like a NATO country was a, a NATO ally of a country that was teaming up. This uh, is 87. Yeah, military defense of a potential. Uh, this was, and I believe this week coming up or next week or a military exercise drill. And I believe that uh, our, 95th is next. Yeah, caught my eye on that uh, RT uh, news article. So I just want to add a note to that. But I'm going to read this again. It says uh, Russia and China will join a naval drill between December 21st. Uh, through the 27th. So it's like a six six day uh, Navy drill. And it says the interface news agencies reported on Monday, citing a uh, Russian defiance ministry says the exercise will include missiles and art artillery fire in the East China Sea. The ministry says. And then this is another news article of uh, wars and rumors of wars. And this is a news article which is recently, uh, this was uh, yesterday from uh, CNNnews.com. This is uh, uh, published by Yo Jing So and Joe Cole Ojo and uh, Brad London of CNN News. And this was updated December 18th, 2022 from Seoul, South Korea. Updated at 2.24 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it reads, North Korea fires two more missiles in a record year launch. And it says, uh, North Korea fires two ballistic missiles into the waters off its east coast on Sunday. The latest in what have been a record year for testing launches by this is Kim Jong-un. As far as this train goes. And it says uh, the launch is reported All passengers by must leave the train. both South Korea and Thank Japan. Thank you for riding the CTA red line. Slock him in to say the launch is reported by both South Korean and Japan authorities, marking the 35th day this year that uh, North Korea has conducted a missile test. And it says the day follow the North Korea's claim on uh, Friday. That it had successfully, that it had successfully tested a solid, it said a solid uh, rocket, a solid monitor 
a development that could lead to a Kim Jong-un regime. It says be able to more quickly and reliably fire an anti-continent ballistic missile in the ICBM in the future. And it says, uh, it says North Korea last known of its launch test on November the uh, 18th. And it launched a Hossasan uh, 17 ICBM. It says Japanese authorities said the uh,
they want to them, you know. And I believe once those uh, two missiles was launched, uh, uh, Japan had a uh, emergency alert one uh, a monitor of a uh, emergency alert or something like that, I believe. So, so yeah, you know these. Uh, Now, on a 
other hand, you got Russia right here. You know, they're wrapping up their uh, military uh, cooperation with their allies as well, too. Because Russia and Valerius, you know, they're close relative military uh, partners. You know? And it says, uh, I'm reading it, Russia to ramp up military cooperation with its closest ally. It says, more army troops from Valerius are to be held. Russia and Belarus will continue their joint exercises, which are intending to boost their combat readiness. Their military, Russian President Vladimir Putin said on Monday, the miss during a press conference where his counterpart, right, because I believe uh, President Vladimir Putin is, uh, was uh, traveling to uh, Belarus, was his ally partner. Of President of Valerius, you know, and what that meeting. And it says, uh, Putin said on Monday, and this during a press conference with his counterpart, uh, Alexander Kalinsko, it says the Russian president revealed that Moscow and this has already activated a entry graded air defense and warning system that the Russia might soon train pilots from Valerius on airplane modified to use a special uh, ammunition. The two members of the Union State will continue uh, to practice uh, regular joint uh, exercises and other measures designed to increase readiness, we have said. And that goes into that Ezekiel 38 channel. First verse all the way down to verse seven of uh, Gog and Magog. Because even though Heavenly Father is prophesied against Magog, but he put that spirit on these uh, Russians, you know. <laughs> you know, they put in uh, that war, war type tactics and those warlike mindset to those Russians, you know. That's the book of Ezekiel, as I mentioned before. It says the joint military is planning its ongoing within the framework of implementing the common military Please be Russia and, and give us your seat for customers with disabilities, elderly so, passengers, yeah, and expected mothers. Wars, rumors of wars heating up right there. So, you know, this is a uh, this is a lesson that I want to bring out with the uh, tensions of uh, wars and rumors of wars that are heating up. You know? So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honors to see a howl by Shem, a howl shy by Shem Karkadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Red Millstone, Krishna's words usually and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, Krishna's words usually and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that'd be like unto the speckled bird, Krishna's words usually and sincerely. And until next time, I would say Shalom in a bubble bar. Oh, Shalom. Oh, Shalom. Yeah, I'll shoot me outside, but I got to break it down. I didn't even know you was on the bus because I had.